according to flightstats.com, American Airlines flights from Dallas to Chicago are on time 80% of the time. Suppose 15 flights are randomly selected and the number of on-time flights is recorded. So we have parts A through F. I'm just going to go hit these one at a time. Explain why this is a binomial experiment. So we need to identify statements that explain why it's a binomial experiment. Recall that we use the acronym FITS just to kind of help you remember that. FITS, a fixed number of independent trials, with two outcomes. Probability success is the same. Now, they, they may be in different order here. These are sort of randomized. So let's take a look at this. So trials are independent. Yes, that's the I in FITS. Probability success is different. Nope, we know it's the same. So actually, I'm going to see this right here. Probably is the same. Fixed number of times is E. And I feel like I'm missing one right here. There are two mutually exclusive outcomes, success or failure. All right, let's press check answer. Nice. Okay, using the binomial distribution, determine the values of N and P. So we, we've established that it does follow binomial. So then we have to identify the two parameters, N and P. And N is just our number. In this case, we have 15 flights, so N is 15. And then P is our probability of success. In this case, it is 80%. Put this at 0.8. Okay, using the binomial distribution, the probability of exactly 10 flights are on time is, and we're just going to use StatCrunch. So here we are in StatCrunch. We're going to go to Stat, Calculators, and Binomial. Okay, and here we go. So we had N was what? I've already forgotten. 15, and P was 0 0.8. 15, P is over here at 0.8. And it says we want exactly, so we're going to choose equals 10. Compute. And notice it shades our bar. We got a little red shading there, and we get 0.1032. I've forgotten what the rounding wants to be. It's a four decimal, so we need all those. Okay, let's interpret this probability. So in 100 trials of this experiment, it is expected that about blank will result in exactly 10 flights being on time. Okay, so we have, we have 100, so about 10% of 100 is 10. I wish they chose a different numbers there because that 10 has nothing to do with this 10 right here. Just a coincidence. Let me go back here. If that had been like 14%, we'd take 14% of 100, which would be 14. Now, using the binomial distribution, the probability that fewer than 10 flights are on time is... Now, again, let's go back over here to our applet. Fewer than... Let's make sure we don't put the equal to... Fewer than 10, so we're not including the 10. So just less than 10, I get 0 0.0611, the four places. Okay, interpret this one. In 100 trials of the experiment, it's expected that about, and we're going to say 6, right? 6% 6 of 100. About 6 of these will result in 10, uh, fewer than 10 flights being on time. Part E. Using the binomial distribution, the probability that at least 10 flights are on time is... So at least 10 means what? It means 10 or more. So I'm going to leave that 10 in there and put greater than or equal to 10. So at least 10 is 0 0.9389, 0 0.9389. So in 100 trials of this experiment, it's expected that about 94, so 93.89% of 100, be 94, will result in at least 10 flights being on time. Okay, last part, I think. Using the binomial distribution, the probability that between 8 and 10 flights inclusive are on time is, and all this inclusive means is that we include these endpoints, 8 and 10. Otherwise, it'd just be 9. So between 8 and 10. So on the binomial calculator, I'm going to click this between button. Notice that N and P stay the same. And I've already forgotten, 8 and 10. So it looks like 16%, 0.16. So in 100 trials of this experiment, it's expected that about how many? Well, 16. 16% 16 of 100 is 16. All right. Hope that helps.